Okay, mate, welcome to Fight FX 341, audio, artillery, and attenuation. And I, I've got a, well, I don't know, an, an audio locator with me. You're definitely here in audio form, yes? I am here in audio form, so yes. Excellent. We're, we're sticking to our social distancing. We are, very yep. much so. We've got, what, about 800 Ks between us now, I guess? Yeah, roughly that, roughly that. Um, It was obviously not enough for Mojo. Mojo's still under the weather. He's hoping to come back next week. Um. Yeah, more social distancing definitely required. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we've got the sound design update. And this this is a short Friday fax. It's all about the audio. So you'll notice for once, I don't have the background music in the background. Um, but it's interesting nonetheless, because um, the audio is something that was really added and or played with. I guess played with in 18. And it's, I don't know, a lot of people have made complaints about and comments about it over the short time it's been included in Factory, wouldn't you say? Yeah, definitely. Um, I remember when you and Mojo were first discussing the changes and you um, weren't uh, 100% uh, okay with them and uh, having played a bit with 18 myself, I, I can kind of see why. I, I don't think it's just like when they changed graphics originally, it's like, oh, this takes a bit of getting used to, but now you look at old graphics and you go oh how did we play with that before? <laughs> yeah the, the trains and the train tracks are the ones that really surprised me so much that train tracks look so different now and yet we played with them how they were for five years without an issue yeah well, i think the underlying um themes of uh, the the building and, and the game mechanics of factorio are what really um gives you the experience that wants to make you keep playing more yeah. Um, and everything else, like the graphics and the sound, are uh, kind of nice to haves. But once you have the nicer to have, you kind of want to keep it. And I think that's going to be where the sound ultimately gets to. We're going to listen to the sound when they've finished all of these iterations. And we're going to go, um, we're just going to take it for granted. But then we're going to try and play or listen to a, a very old Factorio video and go, how the hell did we play with that? Yeah, I, I expect it'll be like that. Yeah, it'll be that, that, like, how the hell did we deal with those old, old audio and stuff? But then again, yeah, it's... Factorio, like you said, is all about the gameplay. I, I have said more than once that I would play Factorio in the old version, like, 5, which had a lot of placeholder graphics because the graphics didn't exist, just to squeeze out an extra one or two UPS. So there is that argument as well. Um, yeah. That, you know, I'd play Factorio, all the Factorio with placeholder graphics, if there was an option I could tick on to gain two, P two UPS to push my base just a little bit further. Um, but yeah, on to the Friday Facts itself. So this one's by Ian and Val, which are the two sound designers, um, and that's pretty much their only job at Woob. Uh, Ian says, so sound design update, one advantage of switching to home working during the virus is the ability to listen to the game using speakers rather than headphones. And this pro proved useful in balancing the relative levels of the game. For instance, we noticed that sounds such as radar were getting cut off as you walked away from them rather than fading out cleanly. I investigated and observed we had a maximum environment sound limit of 15. Raise this to 50, we've eliminated many of these problems, but then the downside is there's now more, more sounds playing and therefore more clutter and mix to balance. So we got one of these lovely slider gra graphs and we can see, you know, assuming players in the setup, normally you'd have, it'd be 15 tiles from where you're standing, which I mean, assuming is done in a radius, considering where the center of the screen is and like the inserters, the yellow inserters on the far right are more than 15, well, they're less than 15 tiles directly from the center. Um, but they're like seven tiles away. So I'm assuming it's a radius. Uh, no, uh, not a radius, the other one. A square, maybe. Mm, center of a square. What's it, whatever a double radius is, my brain is not working. A uh, diameter, you mean? That's the one I'm looking for, diameter. Um, so I'm assuming it's a diameter from, from center. So 15, yeah, 15 total. Um, rather than, yeah, a radius from the middle. But yeah, up to I, 50 is a lot. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't um, know. They've got some talk here of 
limitation on the same type of sounds. So if it was 15 different sounds and just slightly greater emphasis, if there's more of one, that would probably work. But if they're making it 50 sounds, it does sound like it's going to be a bit of a confusing well, definitely, doesn't it? When I did the... So back in February, we did the rocket, uh, the the... the what was it? Balance. Balance once launched twice map where we had 1,024 rocket silos. And if you hit the launch button, you were standing right in the middle of them and then wandered away, the sound had just cut off hard. So hopefully it'll stop that problem, which I'm a fan of. The biggest problem is like one rocket silo is loud. Two rocket silos going at the same time are really loud. If this is set up, so I was only hearing the five or so, six rocket silos right beside me. Imagine what it's going to be when you hear a thousand. Yeah, that was really loud. A thousand's going to be horrible um, <laughs> because the down the game doesn't clip the sounds. It just keeps making them exponentially louder if there's more items going around you. Um, and I, I got to say, I've I've just realised in the last week or so, I really don't mind the sounds of the splitters. The mm-hmm. belts still get to me a little bit, and standing beside a robot port is annoying. I, I've accidentally stood beside a RoboPort and alt tab to go do something and then heard the sound of the RoboPort in the background just wearing away. And I'm like, nope, I'm going to alt tab. I'm going to walk away from that because I cannot stand it. Um, <laughs> I so- have actually mentioned the RoboPorts, but yes, I think my experience is similar in terms of RoboPorts. I'm not entirely on board with um, that sound. It's it's like a high pitch, like... Um, uh, it's, it's sound often you find in computers, um, high pitch mm-hmm. electric whirling. And for some reason they've used that for the robot port, just for the sound of it being idle for a substation, maybe, but for the robot port, it's just annoying. It's just annoying. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, they've, they've, they've upped the sound limit, which we will see. Um, I guess sound is one of those things that it's, it really depends on the player. Some people like a sound, some people hate a sound. It's, it's not as as cut and dry as a lot of other things so yeah yeah Yeah, it's hard to please everybody with whatever sound you come out with but um it does sound like it obviously they're going in the right direction they're they're not just um putting it out there and job done they're 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 realizing it needs somewhat uh tweaking tweaking work to Mm -hmm. um smooth these these sounds and um that's got to be a good thing. Um, but yeah, some of the actual sounds probably still need a little bit of um, consideration as to whether they're going to be universally liked or, or not. Um, and I guess they'll still be listening to all of the usual places on Reddit and so on to, to get people's feedback. Yeah, the they, they do mention further down that they, they are listening and everybody's input is, is appreciated. And I, again, it's one of the things we like about Web that they listen to player input. Um, yeah. and because belts were really annoying to, to start with, but obviously the devs were happy with the sounds they put in for the belt. So they released it and then players got back and said, no, no, just no, no. Yeah. Um, but I, I do, I don't get it. So one of the things that, that Ian has said is he finds the ability to listen with speakers rather than headphones useful. I find if I ever want better sound quality, I always put on the, I, I look, I fully admit I have $20 headphones and in front of me, I have a $200 sound bar and the $20 headphones give me more finer clarity. I find than the sound bar. So I'm the opposite. Um, okay. and yeah, I, I, the headphones are, headphones are great if you want to listen to you know, specific sounds, but yeah, um, on to the next one. We finally have, we finally, finally, after they didn't quite make it nine months because the artillery sounds were announced in the Friday Facts 252, which I have been harping on about for not quite nine months because I looked it up and <laughs> it's, yes, harping on, that's for sure. it's, it's, it's back in July, 2018, actually, no, no. I, 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 I didn't realize it was 2018. Okay, so it's been a year and not quite tw- uh, nine months, um, but they have finally added the sounds for the artillery uh, to the rotation. So they finally, 18 came out. They didn't have the new sounds in for the bang, bang. They finally added the sounds for the bang, bang. No sounds for the rotation, even though they were in the game files, they just weren't being used by the game. And now they're finally in here. We can finally listen to them 
from real in-game footage of the new artillery sounds that are in-game, not in the current release. You've got to wait for them to do an update, which didn't happen last week, so hopefully it happens this week. Then we can have artillery that go bang, bang, and rotate. So hang on, listen to this. Okay, now out of curiosity, let's scroll back to the Friday facts from, from a year and not quite nine months ago. See if it sounds the same. Yeah. I hardly ever, well, while you're doing it, I hardly ever actually use fixed uh, artillery. Presumably the same rotation sound as in the train artillery. You know what? I think it's the exact same sounds they used from a year and nine months ago. Apart from the one in Friday Facts 252 was a whole bunch louder than the one they have in Friday Facts 341. And this in, in 252, they actually had an artillery wagon. In 341, they've got the artillery, uh, the turret itself. And nice. it's the exact same sounds. Um, and like I said, they've been, they've been in the game files. I've actually looked them up. They've been in the game files for a long time. Um, but they just haven't been used. And before, I, I, somebody already pointed out my Discord about the gun on the video having this clip, clipping right at the end of the, the the gun. It's a issue with Chrome, it turns out. If you download the video and watch the video correctly on a computer, um, it renders out perfectly. So it's some issue with, oh, web compression. Um, but yeah, I look, I, I'm, I'm glad the sound has finally made it. I'm glad the sound only took a year and four <laughs> months. That seems rather excessive, doesn't it? But I guess there are other priorities or some such reason. At yes. least it's getting into the game finally. Yes, it's 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 here finally. Um so they've also updated the concept for transport belts. We listen to feedback from the community, like I said before, and they're still a bit too present and annoying. The idea of the new sound is they'll drift in the distance a bit more and become unnoticeable until you try to fall asleep. Nobody tries to fall asleep in Factoria. Occasionally what happens is you sit down in the morning and then it gets dark and then you keep playing Factoria and then the sun gets up. And, and then you finally fall asleep. Yeah. Yeah. With, yeah. yeah. with headphones on, still on the, the WASD, uh, you know, in one hand, the mouse in the other. Yeah. Um, so people don't try to fall asleep playing Factoria. It does happen, but yeah. Um, so more fun sounds they're adding include water splashes, electric and laser beams, more powerful weapons such as the gun turret and vehicle machine gun. And our old, old robot sounds have come back as additions. I'm curious what that statement means about old robot sounds, whether they're reverting back to the old ones for the robot ports or whether they're bringing them back for some other reason, for some other part. Like I remember the, the combat drones, whatever they're called. Um, they sounded weird with the different humming sounds. Yeah, I I, I don't know. Um, they do say robot, not robo port, but maybe it's the yeah. robots that they pull up to the robo port that is the sound that uh, you're finding a dislike to. So maybe that's no, no, I, no, no, no. It's definitely the robo port. I've stood there with the yeah, port. with no robots flying around and oh, right, the right, base right. is idle and yeah, that sound is just annoying. Um, but yeah, if all goes to plan, it should be in a master very soon. Normally they're doing a release once a week. They skipped last week. So maybe this week coming. Um, so hopefully we're going to hands on this soon. And which means there's going to be a flurry of comments on the, on the forums and in Reddit about all the different sounds and look, the devs like hearing the feedback. So if you've got feedback about the sounds, put them in. Um, I'm curious about the gun turret and the vehicle machine gun. Um, they both sound a little bit. Wimpy. Wimpy is probably the best term. Um, same with the player SMG. It used to sound, sound and looks more similar to an AK. And now it looks like a, a tiny little P90. It shoots lots of little bullets really fast, even though it doesn't shoot little bullets fast. Um, it doesn't sound to me like it's shooting very fast now either. It's sort of do, do, do. Yeah. I don't know. I can't remember firing it with all the upgrades. Um, mm. It's one of those things that you use early game and then sort of by mid game, you've moved on to, you know, cars and tanks and that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, either that or, you know, or artillery or, artillery or nukes or yeah. yeah. Um, 
So yeah, after that's done, Ian plans to spend more time on the user interface sounds and also balancing over uh, overall levels to get them more in line with other games, which is trickier given the normal, uh, given the lack of audio middleware, which makes me curious because I know with 18, so for the, for the longest time, I've never had to tweak Factorio default sound settings. It's one of the few games I can open up, fresh install, hit the record button and go. Every other game, like I open it up and the first thing I do is go into the audio settings, go to music and drop it to like 10%. Well, that's because you're recording, obviously. And yes. Factorio has made a point of saying that you can freely use their music in your recordings uh, without risk of copyright. Yeah, but other games do the same, but their music track is just so loud oh, okay. that you can't put like audio of talking over the top of it. It's just too loud. Factorio, the music used to be quiet and in the background. Um, at the default, I think a default was 60% or for uh, the music volume. Well, um, the music volume on the, um, the Factorio music clips is incredibly variant in terms of how loud it is. Some it is. is very quiet and some is incredibly loud yeah yeah that's the other thing with the soundtrack like the soundtrack that normally be in the background of every friday facts i actually normalize so i bring the high parts way down and bring the whole track way up so it's much more constant in the background whereas the soundtrack itself is yeah it has some really loud bits and some really quiet bits but yeah with 18 i've just found the music for factoria is louder and i have to every single time i do a fresh install which is at least once a month um for a new community map or whatever i've got to go in there and manually make sure i turn the music settings down so i'm sort of curious about when they say balancing the game to be make it more in line with other games because frankly i find generally most other games their audio is the audio levels are shit um factory i've been really happy with apart from my nitpick about the music just recently which like i said every other game music's way too loud normally to do voice over it to just play it it's fine but to do voice over the top it's too much satisfactory is one of those games where their audio is spot on um i put it in the same class as factor maybe even actually a step higher because their audio is their audio their audio guy is obviously a genius he does really really good audio um there you go. maybe that's what they're aiming for competition yeah maybe maybe so maybe they're looking at like a satisfactory it's two different games um i think that's what it really comes down to like satisfactory because it's 3d because you're in person the sound of rush uh, rust, rustling um bushes in the background it needs to sound real to give you that that feeling because you're in first person in factorio yeah. it really doesn't matter that much um but in satisfactory it does make a big difference um, and I've played like I've played plenty of other first person shooter games where the sounds are good, but they're just not in the same caliber, not even close. Um, right. Well, maybe that's why Satisfactory is sort of been able to stand uh, a little bit higher than some of the other uh, kind of copies. Yeah, look, I, there's, there's uh, I've, after many years of playing Factory, I have looked for a first a first person 3d view version of factorio and there's about six of them out there mm. but most of them are either have major faults have been in early access for years and are, are making slow to no progress um or just yeah horrible gameplay like some some terrible fault that keeps them off off my radar um and stops me featuring them on the channel um but yeah um, so we got Val with attenuation. So lately Ian I, and I were occupied with mixing sounds uh, of the game. Uh, the attenuation of the sounds is a great tool for mixing a game. Using it, you can make all the sounds more located and take a certain place, which then you can clearly hold, hear what object you are passing by and sounds don't overlap each other as much. As a bonus, there is the reaching object won't shock you with the full volume of sound as it's audible from a distance and ramps up in volume. Uh, when checking the offshore pump, he noticed that the pipes produced a small part of their loop when he walked near them, even if there was no water flow, which I've noticed as well. Yes. Now, they don't actually say here if when you walk past an empty pipe, is, is it now going to have no sound, which is kind of what you would expect. And that would be another hint, rather, in addition to the visual hint, that there's no 
water sound. Well, um, it, it's a cash too. If you listen to the sounds, mm. there's the sounds of water flowing, even if there's no water. And of course, on top of that, yes, if a pipe is empty, it should make no sound whatsoever, or maybe a hollow sound. Like as a rock hitting the inside of a pipe or something like that, but I, I think probably no sound would be the answer. Yeah, um, I, I think no sound would probably be best. Yeah, um, but yeah, you you can definitely see. So the purple bar showing is the um, it's a debug menu. It's show localized sounds, and each time they loop, it's actually looping the sound item or the sound track for that particular entity. Um, so if you bring up this debug menu. And actually, there's two options. One's to show the sounds visually, and the other one's to show recent sounds played um, actually on the screen. And if you walk near pipes, you'll see, like in the example I have on pause on the screen, you'll have four or five, well, five, five, five of these sounds playing, basically looping back and back and back. And if you're not moving, the sound won't, you won't hear the the, the, the sound of moving water. If you start moving, just because the way the sound loops or whatever, or the way the sound restarts, um, you hear the sound of what sounds like running water, even though, yeah, the pipe in this case is, there's a string of pipe, doesn't go anywhere, doesn't do anything. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit weird. And it, it, it's one of those minor things that, look, most of the other dev companies are just push it off as, yeah, it's good enough, close enough, we're done. Um, yeah, that's right, that's right. But when you've had a very protracted, uh, we're still in early access game, even though it's in a far better shape than many um, actual released games. Oh, yes, um, yes. You have time to attend to these details, I guess. Yeah. Um, so it's Val, isn't it? Val. Yeah, the second half yeah. of Val. Uh, our sitting told me it must be a conflict of the entity working sound in, uh, in combination with the max sounds per type, which we use to limit the number of certain types of sounds playing at the same time. After thinking a while, he decided to remove the max sounds per type and added an audible distance modifier with a very small value for pipes. I tested that and was happy to, uh, uh, and for my happiness that it worked well in this case. Going back to my rocket example, I wonder if that has an audible distance modifier with a really high value. Hmm. And then I second that and say, is the same existing for both artillery, sh artillery uh, turrets firing and artillery shells landing? Because I would like to hear artillery shells landing from further away. And I'd really like to hear the artillery turret firing from further away. Because normally you're standing, like artillery turrets come in two varieties. One, you're standing beside them and you're firing for the first time and you've got a grin ear to ear and you're watching the explosions. You don't hear the audio on the explosions normally. But you stand there with a grin ear to ear and they're, they're allowed to be loud in those cases. The other time is when they're automating the defenses around the base. Yeah, you, you'd probably like to hear that they're firing off, but you don't necessarily want it to be definitely loud every time they're firing especially if you've got a death world going on and you're constantly getting attacked everywhere and so they're constantly shooting to clear stuff yeah no but it's, it's, it's just I, just the occasional like you know off in the background just like oh that's another artillery taking out another spawner or another worm that's expanded into my territory it's good to know he's dead too it's good to know he's dead too just those little things um do you I think know. it's reasonable to hear the actual landing though, unless you follow, <sighs> if you follow the shell out and then see it take out the actual um, uh, biter nest, then maybe you you actually want to hear the sound associated with that as well. But uh, if if you're firing and then especially if you have a few levels of uh, artillery range extension, um, you're a very very long way away from where the actual explosion happens. Well, I, I, I'd, I'd have to look up the wiki to be sure, but from memory, the uh, artillery has at the very first base range, automatic range of about 380 tiles. And after you do the first research, it goes well over that. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say 500 tiles being the absolute maximum to hearing an artillery shell land. And if it's one show, you're probably not going to hear it over the background rustles of like the the grass that's beside you, because that even has sounds inside Factory. Again, turn on debug options. You'd be amazed at how many things make sound. 
<laughs> but like just one shell probably wouldn't notice it. But if you drive like an artillery, you know, train up and depending on your size of train, it could be like four uh, artillery wagons. It could be like eight artillery wagons. It could be one of our Krakens with a hundred artillery wagons. If you drive one of those up and it's not firing a shell, it has 10, four hundred turrets all swiveling at once, all firing pretty much at the same time. Then back to that, that, Ma uh, audible distance modifier along with the other one that we covered with um the more sounds we have the louder it gets 100 artillery shells going off hitting all at the same time i think I'd sh i should hear that just my thoughts oh yeah oh yeah i think you should hear that yeah, yeah. <laughs> so obviously but if there's shells going off there's not the landing of the oh, look, look, if if i drive a train up and it has 60 artillery wagons and it fires at 40 different biter, biter nests because that's all that's in range. I should hear from a distance of 500 tiles. I should hear a, you know, I should hear 40 guns fire and I should hear 40 shells land because there's going to be a delay between the, the guns firing and the shells landing. They're two separate sounds. There's going to be a second in between them with flight time. I think I should hear that just because it's impressive. And they have everything there ready to go. You know, it, it, it's a couple of simple modifiers. And like I said, you know, one turret out, or one gun out the middle of nowhere, if it's more than 500 tiles away from you, you're not going to hear it. It doesn't exist. It's fine. It, it's like screaming in the woods. Nobody knows. Um, but yeah, if, if you're standing reasonably close, like, you know, you've built a tiny little outpost, you've gone, okay, biters are getting a little bit annoying. I'm just going to stamp down my blueprint get the train to roll out here. It's covered in lasers all the way around and go back to my outpost because I know that train's that train station is 100% automated. Train rolls out, it goes bang, it rolls back away. I delete everything when I'm done. Then, yeah, I, I think that you should be able to hear that in the background. Um, it, would, it would certainly be very cool to, to get that sound. Yeah. No doubt about it. So uh, Val does end with, there are probably a, another hundred little uh, issues like this in the sound design. It's not as simple as replacing the audio samples. Uh, it's not as simple as replacing all the audio samples and we're getting there. Uh, this is why your feedback and bug reports on the sound change are extremely useful for us. And we need to take care of, the, of, of as many of them as we can before 1.0 arrives. So if you have comments on sounds, their forums, they read everything in their forums. Um, most of the devs spend a bit of time on the forums every day, but like Clonin, I know I've seen Clonin on there, just basically lives on there. Bilka is another one I see on the forums all the time. Uh, our seating gets on there. But if it's a sound thing, like one of the devs will tag it and go, Val, go look at this, or Ian, go look at this. Um, same with Reddit. If you, if you get on Reddit, Reddit's a little bit hit and miss. The, the devs aren't guaranteed to see everything. Um, I do see V on Reddit an awful lot commenting on this, that, and everything. Um, but yeah, like leave your comments somewhere. Hopefully a dev sees it. Better chance on the forums. Um, but yeah, sounds are, sounds are tricky. Very tricky. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've got um, five months or so until the um, full release to get it right, though, so... Yeah, but it took me a year and nine months to put a sound that they already had in a Friday fax into the game and have it working. Oh, yes, true. And I'm sure you'll come back to that example on numerous occasions in the future when they promise things as well. No well, well, technically, the Friday fax 252 is also the one where they had the spawners with the creep on the ground that and has still waiting for that too, never huh? been mentioned ever again since. Mm. So... Like, it's a year and one, nine months. Most people have given up on that entirely. Like the Spider Throng? Uh, no, 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 no. Spider Throng will always be remembered. Always remembered, lest we forget. Um, but, like, the, the, the creep had just been just given up on entirely. And I thought the artillery sounds would sort of been rolled in the same basket until I saw the sounds in the game files. I'm like, they're there. They just need somebody to turn them on, flick a switch. And even then, we're on Factorio, what... 18 18 18 17 and somebody's finally flicked a switch so yeah yeah um, well it's progress it's just slow progress yeah it is <laughs> and with that right. i think we'll call it there for friday facts 341 uh thank you guys for watching as always thank you Lord Couture, for coming and help me out with this one 
And right. we'll see you again next week. All right. Bye. Bye.